Result. Gets a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. Know he spit truth so y'all can understand his glory. Gets a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. Know he spit truth so y'all can understand his glory. Gets a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. Know he spit truth so y'all can understand his glory. Gets a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. Know he spit truth. Uh. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unsolicited, episode 34. I'm your host, the Evangelical Norm, and as I get a little adjusted more into the screen there, um, Unsolicited is a podcast uh, to just check out cool new things in the culture, whether that be books, movies, mostly music. Admittedly, I do more music than anything else. And really, Christian hip-hop is where I'm at. Uh, that's my wheelhouse, that's what I like, and that's what I respond to. So uh, today we are going to take a look at, and I have held off, this has uh, been floating around Facebook, the Reformed Bars and Christian Worldview Hip-Hop, uh, and then Ivy's posted it a couple of times. So I have avoided watching this video because I want you to get my just gut reaction a true reaction video uh, to something that I haven't seen before, and this is Hog Mob's new cipher that they just dropped like yesterday, day before yesterday, the 30th, I believe, is when this video came out, and so I haven't seen it. Um, I mean, I've seen screenshots, so this is not your typical, and I'm not dissing the, you know, just the lyric videos and stuff, but usually a lot of times when we get videos for our Christian hip hop, there's not a lot of people that are, are looking to, you know, put their time and investment into making a Christian hip hop video because there's not a whole lot of return on investment in that. Um, we hope to see that change. We hope to see more people willing to and that, that those can be things that can help to generate revenue for our brothers who are making uh, music and making Christian hip hop and entertainment for us. Lyrical theology, literally. I mean, this is some of this stuff is just really it's like a seminary education to a beat, uh, and which is why I love it. And I want to see it continue to succeed. But in reality, a lot of times all that they have the ability to do is some lyric stuff, some cool things with words on a screen as a, as a song plays. And that's cool because again, that's brothers that are putting their time and their talent and their ability into making those things. So you and I can be entertained. So I'm not dissing those guys at all, but the screenshots that I've seen, I mean, these are brothers. Somebody got behind a camera and said, let's act this out. And this is, uh, again, I'm, I'm looking forward to what it is completely, but I've seen like shots of where the, all the guys that are in the song are, you know, kind of standing around doing, you know, just your, your kind of old school hip hop video thing where everybody's there and they're just all in the camera and stuff like that. So I'm excited to watch this video. I hope you're excited to watch this video. Chances are you've already seen this video because it's been, it's been traveling around and I hope you've all seen it and I hope you all like it. And I hope you all head over to hog mob and support it, but I'll hold that, uh, so, uh, that soapbox off for, uh, the end of the podcast, but let's get into this. Let's take a look at, Hog Mob, the 2020 Hog Mob Cypher. Yeah, yeah, for real. Directed by Rise. My Millennium. That's right. Cool. That's right. Yeah. Suited and booted for war. Hooked on God, ministry over business, my nigga. Salute to the soldiers. Uh huh. Every last one of them. My uh huh. Was that Zion? Okay. See again. I I don't know who is on or in or any. And I just saw Zion in there. So that's that's exciting. That's cool. I'm not expecting that. 
Uh, finna show y'all how to slide on sight one diamond. time. Let's go! Ma, the real is back. Spinal cord. Riding for the Thor. Christ, who I'm fighting for. In the sight for where iron sharpened iron swords. Hit him lying raw in the eye of a firestorm. Warriors, come out to play. Homie, we ain't about the games. On the enemy, we about to bang. Christ put the flame to a powder keg. Feel the power when we shout his name. Mountains move about the way. In the battle, watching giants fall. Bible is my rifle, I'm a sniper letting fire off. Shots fired from a rock while I'm a fighter dog. O3 cold being OT, I'm a ball. We're smobbing hard, we don't take an L. Serving, but it ain't for sale. Bombing on the gates of hell. Demon screaming like a scary movie. Pin goes down, can't barely move. A soldier prepare for doom. The revolution won't be. Alright, here comes Zion. Nice. Um, I've never heard of Diamond before, so this is new, and I like that. That that was, that was that was cool. That was, uh, man. We're get, we're gonna have to come back and, and go through this and uh, and check it out again because I got I got to hear this more than once. And, uh, but Diamond killed it. Diamond <laughs> killed it. I need to get more information on what this dude has out and stuff like that. So uh, hit me up. Um, if if you've got anything and he could be brand new and uh, but yeah diamond killed it we televised truth is it's already here just in disguise christianity's been politicized who we be h-o-g and won't apologize preaching the gospel of god and we go hard to the death giving all to the cause until there's no giving left jesus said it's my love that you would truly be known now by the set that you bang all them confessions you own producing divisions leading the spirit Prison separated by walls that Jesus died to get rid of. But the one this is manifested, no need to stress him. The church is in disobedience. I could he ever bless her? Hey. So this is nothing but a call to repent. My prayer is that you feel his presence in every sense. From the beginning, we've been sinning. The result is contention. Did I forget to mention his hard mob, nigga? The apostles were brave. All right, here comes Zadok. Zion, man. So I've, I've got his his album my homily and uh, again just a, a great album and um, I just I didn't know I don't know how much he's involved in I I have I'm a friend with uh, with him on Facebook and so I see I see all his family stuff and so you know props to the Bethesda Blazer Blazers for their victory securing that third seed in their playoffs and good luck from there on good luck to Zion's boys and. Uh, so yeah, but I, I don't I don't see a lot of music with him, and I I love I loved my homily, the album that came out a little while ago, and so I'm excited to see more music from from Zion, and and again, um, just <laughs> killing it, killing it. Parted, no fear in the A order. That's how they became artists. Now look at what they started. We're the Saints partner, way more than some vain artists. What be coming out my mouth is a sharp weapon like A. Warris. Price is exalted, max are resulted. Right in the pulpit, you look up and I am the culprit. Zay is a Hebrew who is Christian, so claiming I'm cultic. Grab the goblet of living water, don't sip it, I gulp it. Let me address some complaints, the mob has been heard. How y'all disciples trying to justify using the N-word? Dressing like you hood isn't holy or Christ-centered. The arguments get chopped down easy, just like Tim Bird. If you really think we're misguided, keep us in prayer, bro. You can point out possible flaws, never call us fearful. Hit the streets in your city, you never there, though. The mob is famous for being in the field, just like the scarecrow. Back in the booth, it's like joy. Alright, so Zadok, there was a lot of controversy on that brother a while back and some whether or not he was Hebrew Israelite or all this stuff and I don't know where that ever went. All I know is my man Ivy uh was like he's a brother and you know that they're, they're talking it and they're doing and, and so cool, cool. And I mean unless something comes up where it's absolutely ear you know irrefutable evidence that, that Zadok is, you know, not where he needs to be. I mean, we pray for the brother, pray for all these brothers. I mean, they, are, they are in a place where, I mean, they are ministering to some of the hardest uh, places to minister to, some of the, you know, the hardest hoods that are out there. And, you know, and they are, I mean, they are godly men. And I, I have no doubt about that. Any one of them, um, you know, I would let every one of these dudes bab or <laughs> baptize my kid. Uh, watch my daughter. My, my, any one of these guys could. Uh, they are godly men, and I trust every single one of them. Um, mainly because of 
I have a very close connection to Ivy, um, and you know he's here, and I know Ivy. If, if any of this was off, he wouldn't be part of it. So again, but Zadok, man, here's here's the deal. I I love that ta- that line about using the N word, and and so there's so much controversy over that. I mean, Kurt Kennedy has dealt with that with the appendix and Redneck Zan and so on. And I have to admit, I mean, back in the day when I was, you know, the 90s when I was Ice Cube and Tupac and, and all those guys were constantly in my ears, I never had an issue hearing it and even going along with it, singing it in the lyrics and stuff like that. And I have to admit, since I got saved, it does hit my ear a little weird and to hear it. Um, but I ain't mad at anybody that uses it. Again, that's it's a word. It is, you know, five letters put together to elicit a response and the, you know, one way or the other, however it is that they intend to use it. I ain't mad about it. I mean, it's not blasphemy. It's not, I wouldn't consider it a, a you know, foul language. I wouldn't consider it cursing man and trying to praise God with the same tongue, any of that stuff. So, Again, and, and Zadok can flow, man. I mean, let's get back into just the art of what we're doing. Uh, you know, <laughs> my dude can, can spit. I just watched another video earlier today as I was getting ready to do this one and not wanting to watch this one. Um, but as I was finding it to get it pulled up, uh, the one that uh, that it was Seven, Ivy, and Zadok did called When She Cries. And it's, a, you know, it's about the Bride of Christ and it's about the church it's about, you know, prosperity preachers and stuff like that. And man, I loved that joint. And it was, that came out like in August. And I don't know why I never did a response to that one, but man, that was, that's one you should go listen to as well. After you're done watching this, go check that out when she cries. And it's, it's Hog Mob, Seven, Ivy, and Zadok. And now we got uh, Fawns. This is another dude I've never heard. So um, let's check it. Jordan in the gym. Magic. King James with the pen, <laughs> encouraging all the homies to repent from wicked ways. Gotta ask forgiveness for them sins. While the opportunity still present, ill-gotten gains. Knew I had to make amends. Island Willie bikes, full throttle the bends. Drop the range a couple inches to compliment the rims. But now I'm playing all the idiocy in life too short, like Mississippi to ten. Rugged and harsh like a hippopotamus skin. Been battle tested like one of King Solomon's men. Heard them shells coming, coming, skipping through the wind. Uh, Collapse in my lung, taking my wind. Thankfully, your boy didn't die in his sin. So every bar spit, I gotta pay homage to him. Who you better bring your jacket. Homie, we came to. So that was Fonz, and that was nice. That was, I have to hear more of him too. Um, good, good stuff. Good stuff. I, I've never heard of him, never seen him. Um, I've seen Bazooka that was is coming up right here. So, um, and for those of you who don't worry, I'm after I kind of chop this up. Usually, I let the whole thing play first. Um, but man, I saw Zion and I had to jump in. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that we'll play the whole video uh, un uninterrupted after we're done. Uh, so, after I'm finished uh, giving my unsolicited opinion. Wake the masses up, cause judgment's coming and shake the planet Everywhere I turn, I see the book of revelations happening The government want us our chip, like we in Vegas gambling Better be covered by the blood, like a razor slash Or smothered by the flood, when the alpha and the omegas rabbits I was once destined to see the premature grave and casket But he paid the ransom, duty came from a gang of ashes Hooked on God, I'm a raging addict Connected to something so cold, like refrigerator magnets Christ opens doors that no one can close He told us to go, and we go, go But we ain't table dancing we know what Satan's plan is. We came to save the captives till the enemy is under our feet like a praying mantis. Yeah. Nothing but truth in this artistry when I paint this yeah, canvas. It's all salutes till they want me, but still praise the captain. I'm here to boast you with excellence and they know it's ever simple with a code. I, I actually was looking at something else on my phone real quick and I missed that. So I was trying to look up something uh, from, from Hog Mob on my phone. Um, but yeah, we'll hear that again in a minute. But Bazooka's always good. I mean, the the little bit that I've heard from him is is good, and I mean that's great. But here's my man. Here's my number one. If you really want to know on my list, my top five, Ivy, Ivy's my dude. So 
Regiment in the soul, evident new and old. Testament, there they go. Testing them glory told. Specialist, this the low specimen. Now that we got your attention, we paying visits to the wrong hearts, demanding repentance. Like business, we the long shots. He drew blood, you think by way of art. I'm thinking on that tree, he bit death and throw away the bark. Throwing up the lukewarm, riding with the roof gone. Red with the blue on, purple with my crew on. Hurdle over, we on circle. Yelling, be gone, hurt you. Whether be calm, virtue, better see some. 16, 15, don't cry for me, mama. Like killing the judges, tell me who gon' do the honors. Alba, got me now. I'ma be with the clouds. Coming yeah, back with King Yeshua I, I, for the last and final round now. I'm hearing laughter in Dracula's castle. Reading chapters of Matthew, playing capture the statue. Pastor for the master, I will fracture your cash. Pray faster, prepare for the rapture because I have to. For help for mobbing, been a factor since the grass. Disaster when it passed through. These actors is captains at the last suit. Check the statue record, I'ma crash. Two days after, find him shining with Christ. Cap tooth, he's still hopping out the dollies where it's hot wasabi. Them chops karate, leave your average Joe sloppy. Got me face stretching, Pilates. His hobby catch a soul for the body. Probably praying with Roddy, so with the folly. I'm confident in cocky, your pile up rocky. Do you copy? Holy Spirit, hot, no need for Molly. God got me sliding through the dirt. Kawasaki right. fishing for crappie. I'm with the gospel over Takis. All right, Ivy killed it. Seven Deuce killed it. Um, this beat, man. I, I, I want to know who made the beat. I want to know who did this beat because this beat is... is uh, I, I feel like I, when I say something's dope, I feel like I'm trying to be like 18 again. But it, it this is dope. I'm, I'm going to start throwing around the word death again too. Um, but yeah, I, seven, seven Deuce killed it. Here comes Dante. Um, again, another brother that is just amazing uh, lyricist and stuff like that. So, um, and, and I'm going to quit trying to send friend requests on Facebook, which is what I was doing. I was trying to find Fonz and, uh, and Diamond on Facebook. So I'm going to pay attention to the video because that's what we're here for. And, uh, and when I'm done, I'll start sending friend requests. Put in so much work, got a musty flag. Still got a 45 with a rusty mag. Still hanging with the gangsters, I must be bad. God knows what I be on, so he must be glad. Hit the town, spread the word, I ain't new to that. Used to move weight white like Snoopy back. Transporting 40 birds in a moving bag. Stop dancing with the devil, now Lucy man. Came out the mud like pig feet. Hog mobbing, shoot a face out with a six week. I used to roll up sour and switch wheat. Deep in the trap, getting off work like sick leave. Big strap poking my hip bone. I used to switch up spots like a flip home. Now I'm in the house of the Lord. Come for me in this home, I grip chrome. Throw your hey, head back hey, like flip phone. I be tailgating with shell. Dante kills it all the time. Um, the couple of things again. I I don't get. I'm not as as connected in with Hog Mob as I am with like Wrath and Grace and Christ Centric and stuff like that. I've been, you know, I've been banging with those guys for a long time now. And and Hog Mob is something that came along when Ivy went to to Infantry. Um, I kind of and then started doing a lot with Hog Mob again. All this stuff I get is through through Ivy. Um, so he and I have been, been friends on Facebook and, and social media for a while. I got to meet him at reform con a while back. And so <clears throat> following him is where I get into all kinds of different music. So I've only been um, kind of introduced to hog mob for a couple of years now, but the stuff that I've, I've seen that, that Dante has done has been really good. Um, I mean, again, I haven't come across a, a hog mob joint that I was like, that just was bad. I mean, there were some that I'm like, this isn't this isn't something that I'm a play a lot, but I know that there are brothers that will. Um, but I mean, a lot of the stuff, most of the stuff, has been really, really good. And then, of course, you know, the master right here, Seven, who's been been doing this, you know, for years and years. Um, yeah, here here he comes. Cases. Uh -huh. Ducking them black hearts with pale faces. For real. Got niggas in jail facing no bail cases. Pace and bringing it heaven, forget they hell raise. Right. So I'm pushing the line until the line hurts. Uh -huh. They still trying to ponder the way my mind works. Cause I'll bring a convoy, a con Come man on. to a concert and turn every convict to a convert. Uh -huh. Wounds of a friend, homie, sit on hanger. Uh -huh. And Lucifer could spin on my middle banger. Right. Whether the pen or a dinner bangers, I get it in. On my mama's dead mama, I ain't no entertainer. Christ reigns, let the storm rip. I've been sinning since the womb, I was born sick. But his tail turns heads like 
a coin flip so we could all come. No porn. Yeah. Flip. We out here. Hog my millennium. Are y'all in for a drink? Let's eat. All right, so there it is. That's the 2020 Hog Mob Cipher. Um, all these brothers, man. I mean, this is... This, I love a good energetic beat like this. I mean, it, you want to get in. You you wish you were in this group of guys when they're doing all this. You know, they're just... This is, this is just... I mean, you can feel the energy. And this isn't just a video. I mean... This, it's a video and you know that they're telling them to do this stuff. But, I mean, you've been, if, you, if you're if you a hip-hop head from way back or for any period of time, you've been in a group like this where you're, whether it's at a concert, whether it's at, at just at, at someone's house and you're listening and you've had a song that have come, has come on and it just raises the energy level and, and you just get in and you're all, you know, just bouncing around and dancing and doing what you do and that's what this video it just reminds me of if i mean they probably didn't need a, a director to go i want you to do this he could just say get up and and party and, and this is a, again this is this is like an anthem this is this is a song that i'm gonna look at that is like um I'm trying to think uh wrath and grace on did a cipher oh my gosh i can't think of the name of it but it had Tony Reuda and Ivy and Bridgeby and um, Omri and Zeta Blacksmith and and oh God, it's gonna kill me that I can't think. But that was like that was like an anthem song. It was like you know back in the day when uh, Hip Hop Hooray and uh, um, you know Naughty by Nature had a couple of jams that were like just like anthems. I mean even. As corny as some people think it is, but like "Summertime" by Will Smith, it was a summertime anthem. This is like this is like an anthem song. This is a song that dudes are gonna go, you know, in 15 years, this song's gonna come on and they're gonna go, man, I remember what it was like listening to that beat and that jam back in the day. This is that's what I see. That's what I see in this. This is this is like an anthem song, and uh, and it is it's amazing. And so, again, 2020 Hog Mob Cipher. Go check these dudes out. Check out Hog Mob on their website. Um, I pulled it up a little bit. I'll put the link in the in the, in the description. But um, Hog Mob is so much more than just records and and music and stuff. They've got so many different ministries going on over there. I mean, they're they're teaching Bible courses on on their website. They've got they've got outreaches to communities that they're doing and stuff like that. It is far more than just music and clothes and stuff like that. Um you know, so really get out there and and take a look and see if this is something that you can't jump on their Patreon and support these guys by all means when when an album comes out and again, not being as connected. I I can tell you when their stuff scheduled to come out from Christ centric and wrath and grace. I kind of get wind of it before it comes up. I don't get a whole lot through hog mob. Um, maybe that'll change as I send some of these friend requests out and, uh, and some of these guys respond and I'll, I'll know a little more, but I mean, look at the, the amount of people in that, 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 uh, video. You've got Zion, you've got Dante, you've got Diamond, you've got Fonz, you've got Zadok, Ivy, uh, Seven Deuce, and Seven. And so all these dudes that are in there, I guarantee you that, that Hog Mob is never more than two months away from dropping somebody's album. or Some kind of a release or something like that is always going on. So keep your eyes out. Support these guys if you can. When it does come out, don't just stream it go buy it. If they drop an album, you know, go hit them up on Bandcamp. You can get, I think there's four volumes of Praying for My Hood um, that are available, or two or three volumes at least, um, of just amazing, amazing songs. And this is like, this is like the hardcore gangster rap that we listened to back in the day. You know, this really reminds me of stuff that, that Cypress Hill did, um, Onyx, um, you know, Ice Cube, Tupac, and, and, and stuff like that. This really kind of brings that, that feel back with God all throughout it from beginning to end. This is glorifying the Lord, and uh, but it, it gives you that, that energetic kind of beat. And yeah, there's a, there's some hard language in there. I mean, if, if you can't handle the, hearing the N-word, 
this might not be for you, but I mean, if you can, if you can get through that and hear what is glorifying God in that, if you can get past the fact that, well, that might not be glorifying God. Well, God is using this. I mean, just a, a couple weeks ago, I think there was a video that Ivy dropped where they were doing baptisms. They do. They did a concert. They had people come in and they had people immediately afterwards saying, I want to follow Christ. I want to be baptized. And they were doing baptisms. God is using this stuff to glorify himself, to bring people into the kingdom. And so we, as, as fellow believers, we need to do what we can to support these guys um, in doing what they do. And as always, we need to preach the gospel at all times. We need to use words because they're necessary. And until next time, Soli Deo Gloria.